Uh, welcome back to Reliable Sources. I'm Brian Stelter. Uh, so much media news this week. You might have missed this development. Uh, Bill O'Reilly and Fox News. Uh, this is Fox News settling a sexual harassment allegation made against big star Bill O'Reilly by former on-air colleague Juliet Huddy. Uh, the settlement is reportedly in the six figures, uh, according to CNN's own Dylan Byers, and also reporting from the New York Times and the blog Law News. Now, this is not the first time allegations of sexual harassment have been brought against O'Reilly. He settled, uh, apparently, in the millions of dollars with producer Andrea Macris in a well-documented, much-covered story in 2004 uh, when she made similar claims. Of course, the, the question here on the table is about O'Reilly in the context of Roger Ailes, the former Fox News boss uh, who resigned under pressure last July. Uh, the Ailes behavior, his charges of harassment by Ailes, is what resulted in his downfall. So what about O'Reilly? Is there a double standard? Is there a difference here? Joining me now, David Zerwick, media critic for the Baltimore Sun, back from earlier. Uh, David, one of two things could be going on here. Uh, Juliet Huddy had her lawyers send a letter to Fox last summer making these allegations against O'Reilly. Uh, then there was this quiet settlement that was disclosed this week. Uh, either she was harassed by O'Reilly or she was taking advantage of Fox at a time when the boss had just been taken down by harassment allegations. What's your read on this story? Um, Brian, my read is that there has been so much of this from Megyn Kelly to Gretchen Carlson to this case, it's impossible that that was not the culture of Fox News that Roger Ailes established. And it's a sick culture. It's a troubling culture that talented women journalists, you, Brian, you know how hard it is to do a show five nights a week like Megyn Kelly did, and at the level of excellence that she did it. Now, imagine doing that when you were sexually harassed or afraid of being sexually harassed. Mm. And in her book, she talks about being sexually harassed by Ailes. How in the world can you expect somebody to achieve their, and some of the, and now it's like Penn State at Fox News with Jerry Sandusky. Nobody knew this was going on for all this time with all these women. Right, I don't well, think so. One theory here is that Ailes is close to Huddy and her family. Uh, maybe Huddy decided to write this letter to Fox last summer uh, because Ailes was trying to take down Fox and take down a rally. That's a theory. Another theory here is that Huddy finally felt like it was a, a comfortable environment where she could actually bring this allegation to actually talk about what had happened. Uh, let me show on screen the statement from Fox News uh, saying that there were very uh, inaccurate things uh, in this letter from Huddy's lawyers. It says the letter contains substantial falsehoods, which both men have vehemently denied. Along with O'Reilly, the other man that was brought up here is a co-president of Fox News. Now, let me also show the statement from O'Reilly's own lawyer, uh, who is denying these allegations. The lawyer said there is absolutely no basis for any claim of sexual harassment against Bill O'Reilly by Juliet Huddy. This all comes, of course, David Zurich, at the same time Gretchen Carlson, the fired Fox News anchor who then sued Ailes for harassment, uh, is doing television interviews, including here on CNN and elsewhere, talking about this broader issue of harassment in newsrooms. David, I'm almost out of time, but what do you think viewers uh, need to take away from these kinds of allegations? Listen, it's really troubling that it persisted to this day. And it's not just troubling. Troubling sounds like a high-minded word. When I talk to some of the women who have dealt with this in the industry, it's really painful to hear their stories.